Alrighty, now I'm gonna show you some floor core work and some of my favorites, there's so many, but I'm gonna take you through what's really important to do when you're doing any exercise like this. So, you're gonna grab a mat or something soft to lay on. And to activate before you do anything, like whether you're doing, um, doing butterfly kicks or laying leg crossovers or leg lowers or anything like that, it's really important that you don't have a gap here, right? So between your lower back and the mat, you wanna close that gap. So you do that by going into a slight posterior tilt position with your hips. So at the moment I'm anteriorly tilting my hips creating that arch in my back. So you're gonna squeeze your glutes, thrust your hips forward and draw your belly button in so that you can flatten your back to the mat so there's no gap there, right? So then you, that's engaging your core. After that, then you wanna suck your pelvic floor, your pelvic floor muscles in and up. So it's like you're stopping number one and number two, bring it in and up and you're gonna hold that throughout the whole exercise. If you feel like you're gonna stop, that you can't keep holding, stop the exercise immediately, have a bit of a break and go back into it and reset. So you're in this position, you can either put your hands slightly underneath your butt like this, just next to you, or I like to do this. This is just a personal thing, it stops my neck, um, I guess, trying to take over. So I just pop it behind me like that, keep in that engaged position, and then I'm gonna do leg lowers now. So. Your legs come up, you gotta make sure you breathe properly through this too. And then you're gonna lower your legs slowly, maintain that position and not letting your back come off the mat. When you reach the bottom, bend your knees and come back to the start position. If at any point you feel like your lower back's gonna come off the mat, just stop. So if you get to say here and you feel like you're releasing like this, bend your knees, bring it back to the start position and then re-engage. So up again, breathing, keeping that engaged core position, your back's on the mat, not lifting off. Go as low as you can go, doesn't matter if you can't go all the way down. And then you're gonna bend your knees and come back to the start position. So even if you're only getting to here, that's fine. It's all about you and your journey and your progress. It's not about anyone else or comparing or anything like that. It's progress, right? So you start there and then you can get better as you go, but you gotta work on it and be consistent. So you can do this and you can do um, bend your knees like this. This is something I did after pregnancy. You have your knees bent, making sure this is all engaged. And then you're coming down slowly, under control, and then back up again. Slowly, under control, and back up. So it's really good to work one leg at a time, especially if you've got diastasis recti, which is ab separation. So keep that position with your core. Don't let it, don't lift off the mat like this. Can't drill in that enough. So breathing properly, nice flow movements, and back up again. Another good thing to do uh, if you are, um, you know, post-pregnancy, is you can wrap a towel or a scarf or something around your middle and then um, hold it tight so it helps push the muscles together and then you can do things like this while holding that position. But definitely engage with a, an expert, a postnatal expert or someone who's like a postnatal physio or something like that who can help you with core work and getting your, your abs back together, okay? So there's that exercise, leg lowers, one of my favorites. It's very similar to the hanging abs but you're on the ground obviously. Another one, which is a little bit easier, is uh, butterfly kicks. Okay, so again, flatten that to the, to the mat so your back has no gap there. You're drawing your, your belly button in, you're engaging your pelvic floor. Uh, hands can go behind here or by your sides or just underneath your butt like this. And keeping that position, you would just wanna kick like that. So remember to breathe and control it. So don't lift off. So you never, want to lift off like this. If that happens, just stop, break, go back into it, re-engage everything, and then back again. And focus on that breath. So there's laying leg crossovers as well that you can do. There's like, there's, there's so much stuff you can do. But it's all very similar. You've got to make sure your core's engaged and your back is staying on the mat. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, so 
crunches. The same thing, you wanna get into a, a bit of a posterior tilt position with your hips, squeeze those glutes, draw your stomach in, making sure there's no gap here. And then you're gonna come up slowly and back down. So you wanna bring your chest up rather than your head. You wanna try and keep your head as neutral as possible so it's in line with your spine and you're not coming forward too much. So it's all about bringing your chest up. So even just small movements like that and then slow down again. Well, there you have it. I hope that helped you guys a little bit. Remember to work on your core consistently. Make sure it's strong. It's one of the most important things that you can do when it comes to your body and being um, you know, anatomically balanced and uh, feeling good and strong and stopping aches and pains and things like that, especially as you're getting older or if you're pregnant or whatever. It's just so important. A lot of people neglect it and they just work everything else or their butt or whatever and they forget about their core. So try to work it all the time as well as your pelvic floor. Another very important thing and you can do that anytime. You can sit down and watch TV and work your pelvic floor. You can go shopping. You can be doing it. I'm doing it right now. You can literally do it anytime. So work on it, be consistent and also don't expect to you know be up here straight away like you've got to start where you are wherever you are it doesn't matter where that is and work your way up it's all about progress and don't compare to what other people are doing because there's some people out there that are elite athletes and they're just they can do crazy stuff and there's no point going oh i'm not like that i may as well give up just focus on your own journey and baby steps each day chip away at it and you will get there and you'll start seeing and feeling results and you feel great so stick at it Anyway, I'll speak to you guys soon. Anything you want to know again, comment on one of my latest posts and I'll do my best to get back to you or do another video if that's what you want. Bye.